Y'all know I'm a big fan of Friday Night Fights. ESPN2, I try to watch it every Friday night. When I can't watch it, I'll record it on my DVR and watch it later on during the week. Today, after the Ivan Calderon fight, which he won by unanimous decision, I started watching Friday Night Fights and I'm watching this kid. I need to know some info on this kid. Anyone out there knows anything about this kid or where he's from. I thought he was American, but he's talking with some sort of an accent. I don't know if he's Russian. I don't know where he's from. So if anyone knows uh, where this kid is from, let me know. But I'm going to give you the record real quick. This kid was amazing, man. I, it was one round, and I'm still... He was fighting versus some guy from Canada. Last name called uh, Ayala. Look, this kid's name is David Muir. David Muir, something like that. He's 21 years old. He has 23 fights. 22 of those fights by KO. He's fighting as David Ayala that supposedly went 12 rounds with Abraham. Because we're talking middleweight here. Abraham. You know, uh, Abraham is a great fighter. So this guy Ayala with 12 rounds with Abraham, I don't even know what other names he fought in there that, that they mentioned him with. He's on the top 10 list in the middleweight division. Here comes this David Mural kid. He looks like a scared cat. You know, even Teddy Atlas is saying he doesn't like the look that David Mule had. Because, you know, the crowd was really hyping his kid up. So when the kid comes in there, he has his little stupid face, you know, he's all... And then, all of a sudden, from being a little scared-looking cat, he turned into a lion, man. And dude went in there with incredible technique. The way, you know, the way he was connecting this fighter was amazing. Uh, great technique awesome power I'm talking Trinidad Tyson mixed together this was just amazing to me I don't know why I was so hyped up when I was watching this fight it was just the way he he hurt Ayala and then finished Ayala off was just incredible David Muir he just you know I'm gonna try to look for some videos here on YouTube if there is any of this David Muir kid and then the fight finishes and they're interviewing him and he's just like um yes I got power I am a strong man I like to fight him it was great. It was like it, 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 it didn't, he it doesn't realize he just knocked somebody. You know, <coughs> that could have been knocked out of the year on ESPN2. And the guy's just a really calm, passive cat. I mean, I could call him like the silent assassin. You know, that's what that's I'm going to give him that name. I'm going to call him David the Silent Assassin Muir. Because I don't think he had a nickname. So we could call him the Silent Assassin. The kid is a beast. A beast. I'll write the name down on the title. You guys look this kid up. 23 fights and 22 knockouts. 23, I, I don't know, I was hyped. I was hyped as hell. And we have that middleweight tournament going on and everything. But I want to see David Muir. This guy was better than the whole Showtime the tournament. I'm t you've been seeing the tournament, right? This kid was better than the whole tournament. That's how hyped up I was. Um, you know, I get hyped up when I see fighters like this because he's 21 years old, man. This kid is special, and he just, just it's not about the power. It's, it's about the technique. It's about the way he knocked this kid out, the way he knocked the yellow out, the way he finished him off. You know, it, it, it was just amazing. It was amazing. I don't know. I'm probably hyping him up too much, but it, it was fun to watch. And I want to see that David Muir kid in Friday Night Fights. Thank you for bringing these great fights and these young prospects. Um, which is really good to see. Alright. Then I'm going to do a video later on, probably tomorrow, talking a bit more about Kodo and his future fights, man. Kodo, the warrior, man, this guy is already calling out everybody. He said, I don't care if it's Paul Williams, I don't care if it's Martinez, I don't care if Pacquiao, maybe just bring him on. You know, just who I'm going to fight next, just let me know, I'll be in the ring. You know, amazing. You know, Kodo, just that he has that type of mentality. He's a gladiator, warrior type dude from back in the 1800s or something. All right.